to find the median for grouped and tabulated data. For grouped and tabulated data, we need to find the median by median by only plotting the graph and the graph which is plotted is called ogive. So to help you with that, let us see one example which I have taken where we are going to find the median and two attached questions. Let us see the question. Marks obtained by 200 students in an examination are given below. Now students use your head. If I would have not grouped it, okay, I would have not grouped the marks from 0 to 10, 10 to 20, 20 to 30, 30 to 40, 40 to 50, 50 to 60, 60 to 70, 70 to 80, 80 to 90 and 90 to 100. The things would have become very tedious. How? The, I have to arrange all these 200 students in the ascending or descending order. To make my task easier, I have made the marks in class interval. So the marks are put in class interval. As you can see, marks 0 to 10, 10 to 20 and so on. And now when we have plotted this, we came to know from 0 to 10 how many students are there. So number of students is frequency. So 0 to 10, there are 5 students. 10 to 20, 11. 20 to 30, 10 students. 30 to 40, 20 students. 40 to 50, 28 students. 50 to 60, 37 students. 60 to 70, 40 students, 70 to 80, 29 students, 80 to 90, 14 students and 90 to 100, 6 students. By tabulating, I have made my task easy. Now, how to find the median? As you have already studied, median is also depended upon the total frequency, that is total number of students. Are they odd or even? You have learned the formula odd and even in the lower class. But for plotting the graph, let me make it very clear. For even, the formula is n upon tooth term. Meaning, we have to find that term whose marks will be the median of the class. Fine? So draw, let us see the question, draw an ogive for the given distribution, here the scale is given to us and we have to find the median marks. The marks of the student who fail if minimum marks required to pass is 40. If scoring 85 marks is considered as grade 1, find the number of students who secured grade 1 in the examination. So I hope the question is a bit clear, it will be more clear when I will uh, help you with the plotting of graph. But before plotting the graph, we have to make lots of arrangement that you have to see now. What arrangement you have to make? Fine. So, they, uh, as you are made aware with the question, so here I will draw a table where marks, that is xx is number of students. And after that you have to uh, plot CF, you have to calculate CF. CF is cumulative frequency. As I have already calculated for you all, the, for the bear in mind students, frequency and cumulative frequency for the first class interval remains same. Okay, now cumulative means what? For I'll explain you at this instant. 16, what do you mean by 16? 16 are the number of students who got more than 0, 0 and more than 0 marks and less than 20. So cumulative means together. Fine, I hope this is clear. This was done in class 9. So here I have calculated cumulative frequency. 5 plus 11 is 16. 16 plus 10 is 26. 26 plus 20, 46. 46 plus 28, 74. 74 plus 37, 111, 111 plus 40 is 151, 151 plus 29, 180, 180 plus 14, 194, 194 plus 6, 200. How I know my what calculation I have done for CF is correct or not? Guru Mantra is the last CF should match with the frequency. If it is not matching, you have to go back and check the calculation. I hope how to make the column for Cumulative for cumulative frequency is clear because your plotting is totally dependent on cumulative frequency. Now, once the table is ready, we came to know that n is the sigma f, that is the total number of students is 200 and 200 is even. So, n is equal to 200. So, median. Now, what is the formula for median? The formula for median is n upon tooth term. Tooth term means what? That uh, we have 200 students which we have arranged and divide by 2. That comes to how much? The 100th student. Okay, we'll catch hold of him and his marks will be the median for the given data. I hope this is clear. So you understood the meaning of 100th term. Meaning, we have arranged the students in the ascending order and we will catch hold of this 100th child. Okay, this 100th student and he will be one whose marks will be median of the given data. I hope this is clear. Now, what to plot? If you can see, I have made a coordinate over here where x-axis, on x-axis, you are going to plot the class interval. Okay, 0 to 10, 10 to 20 on x-axis. And on y-axis, we are going to plot or we are going to plot CF. Fine, but bear in mind, students, whenever you are plotting the ogive, ogive always start with the lower class interval, the lower limit of the class interval, which doesn't have any corresponding point on the CF. So the plotting coordinates are 10 and 5, 20 and 16, 
थर्टी एंड ट्वेंटी सिक्स फोर्टी एंड फोर्टी सिक्स फिफ्टी एंड सेवेंटी फोर सिक्सटी वन 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 सेवेंटी वन फिफ्टी वन एटी वन एटी नाइन्टी वन नाइन्टी फोर हंड्रेड एंड टू हंड्रेड आई होप दिस इज क्लियर वंस दिस टेबल इज रेडी एंड वी नो वी हैव टू फाइन द मीडियन ओके नाउ आई एल टीच यू वन वन मोर ट्रिक ओवर यर आई यर वी वोट गेट द एग्जैक्ट मीडियन बट विल गेट द रेंज इन वॉट रेंज आर आंसर इज गोइंग टू कम can you see it is 100 term and can you see cf if you go off, after 74 till 111 all the students are standing here and our 100 number is after 74 and before 111 so our answer that 100 child will get the marks between 50 and less than 60 so we have estimated when you will plot the graph your answer of median will be between 50 and 60 i hope this is clear students fine now let us start with plotting of the graph as the question you have seen the scale was already given whenever the scale is given strictly follow the scale okay now uh, whenever we is the scale is given or not you need to write the scale so if you see on the top right corner i have written the scale the scale says x axis 2 cm is equal to 10 marks and y axis 2 cm is equal to 20 marks so if you can see students i have plotted the graph over here on x axis we have marks and on y axis we have plotted cumulative frequency as the coordinates are already ready with us so here always start zero has no corresponding point your graph will always start with zero it will not hang in the air okay now corresponding of 10 10 ka corresponding is 5 if you want you can write the coordinates it will be better for you fine next uh, 20 the corresponding point is 16 For thirty, the corresponding point is twenty-six. For forty, the corresponding point is forty-six. For fifty, the corresponding point is seventy-four. For sixty, the corresponding point is one one one. For seventy, the corresponding point is one fifty-one. For eighty, corresponding point is one eighty. And for ninety, corresponding point is one ninety four. And for two hundred, the for hundred sorry for hundred, the corresponding point is two hundred. So here I have plotted the corresponding points. Now again, one thing most of the students uh, act too smart by joining this point by using the scale. It's a free hand drawing, student. It's an ogive. So how to go about? Take your hand over here. You keep on moving your hand. It is a trick. With practice only you'll get. Keep on joining the points. And stop. Fine. So here you get the ogive. Ogive is ready. Now we have to uh, tackle the question. So let us tackle the question. We have to find the median. Okay. Median of what? We have to find median marks. And marks are where students on the x-axis. So our median marks we will get on the x-axis. Now which child's marks will be the median? It is the hundred term. Correct, students. Correct. So we will take hundred. Okay. On the x-axis. these are the number of students so that 100 child okay is on the y axis and just draw a perpendicular from here till it touches this ogive okay don't be don't manipulate students whatever you get you just put your point here and whatever you get just mark it okay so here i got my point here okay so i got my point here if you want you can put the arrows okay students so here I told you uh, we will get the answer between 15 and 6, 50 and 60, and we got it. So here yeah, this is median. Let us read. It is according to my plotting. It is coming. If you read it, it is coming to. You can read it. It is coming to 57. Whatever you get, you just write it. Whatever you get. So according to the graph, I got 57 marks. Okay, 57 marks by graph. i hope this is clear so that 100 child who get the marks his marks is the median and his marks is according to the graph so here you can write it is q2 is equal to median is also called as q2 that is how much marks 57 marks i hope this is clear students now let us tackle the second question the second question says the number of students who failed if maximum sorry minimum marks required to pass is 40 
ओके सो नाव सी अगेन वन गुरु मंत्र आई टीच यू दे एज अ पॉइंट कॉरेस्पॉन्डिंग टू फोर्टी विल बी द आंसर फोर्टी एंड फोर्टी सिक्स सो वी कैन इजीली एस्टिमेट द आंसर विल बी फोर्टी सिक्स बिकॉज अपोजिट टू फोर्टी द कॉरेस्पॉन्डिंग पॉइंट इज फोर्टी सिक्स सो फोर्टी इज द मार्क्स एंड वी हैव टू फाइंड हाउ मेनी स्टूडेंट्स विल द नंबर ऑफ स्टूडेंट विल फेल सो यर विल टेक फोर्टी फोर्टी इज मार्क्स ऑन द एक्स एक्सिस एंड जस्ट एंड इट विल बी फोर्टी सिक्स बिकॉज इज अ कॉरेस्पॉन्डिंग point yes students so it is here 46 make the arrow we can easily make out the arrow will be here because the number of students is asked the answer will be obtained on the y axis so what is the answer over here the number of students who fail if the maximum marks required to pass is 40 is how many 46 students how many students 46 students so 46 students will fail so we became successful in find using the graph and finding the median and finding what the number of students who will fail if the minimum marks uh, to op, uh, pass is 40 so how many students will fail 46 students will fail let us see one more question okay if scoring is 85% and more marks is considered as grade 1 find the number of students who secured grade 1 in the exam meaning if it if a child gets 85% and more than 85% he will be counted as grade 1 student in the exam okay can you guess where this answer will come it is asking the num find the number of students and where the number of student is plotted number of student is plotted on the y axis okay students so here how much we are uh, if scoring is 85 so let us see 85 85 we have to take here so this is 85 till it touches the graph what we have plotted so this is 85 and we are going to join till here make the arrow so you come to know where we are where we have to you have to direct ourselves okay now if i plot this it comes to somewhere okay so i draw a line over here now if you count this this is 180 180 and this is 190 so this is 182 2 4 6 it comes to 186 correct so 2 2 4 6 8 it comes to 186 if you count this this is 186 but this is not the answer students this is not the answer what the question is asking students what is the question asking question is asking uh, if scoring is 85% and more marks is considered find the gra consider grade 1 find the number of student who secured grade 1 in the marks so this is not the answer This is 186 is 180. Sorry, 188 is not the answer. Okay, it is 200 minus 188. Correct, students. 200 minus minus 188. That comes to how much students? That comes to 12 students. So 12 students in the data. 12 students in the data will get what? Will get. 85% and more marks and they will con be considered as grade 1 student okay did you understand this so purposely i have taken a median only and two added question attached question fine so let us 